Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on the application of Laplace transform. And in this video, primarily we will be solving example number or we will discuss example number 16.2 solved in the book. Okay, just to recall the steps that we will be following is we transform the circuit from time domain to S domain. Solve the circuit using nodal mesh or any other techniques that we have learnt. And then we reverse back or take inverse transform to get into the time domain. Okay, now this is example uh, 16.2. Find V naught T. This is the circuit. The V naught T is the voltage across the capacitor. Or in fact, this is the voltage across all these terminals. And here we have to assume the initial condition. Initial condition is given V naught to be 5 volt. So first of all, uh, let's transform this circuit into S domain. Okay, so this is the voltage source 10 uh, E minus T, 10 E minus T U T. We'll be applying this formula E A T is equal to 1 over S A, and therefore this can be written as 10 divided by S plus 1. The next is the other source, uh, current source delta, and we know delta is transformed into S domain becomes 1, so 2 delta will become 2. Now, the resistor will not change, but this capacitor will change, and we have learnt in the previous videos that there are two possibilities for a capacitor, and same was also for inductor. So these are the two possible ways that a, a capacitor can be represented in S domain. Now the question is, which one to use, this one or this one? Now if you look at the circuit, this this has parallel elements, this one, this one in parallel. So we'll prefer to have a par as a, a equivalent circuit which has parallel elements. That means this is preferred. It's not that if you put this, it will uh, you will not get the answer. It will become slightly difficult to solve, but still you can get the answer. So for ease, uh, we'll be using this. So we'll supplement this uh, for the capacitor. So let's see. So these were the two values we had got earlier. And also the capacitor itself, its value uh, is represented now by 1 over SC, which will be 10S, as you can see from here. This is 1 over SC and a current source. Now, 1 over SC we found to be 10 over S from here. What about the current source? Its value is C V naught. Now V naught is given in the question to be 5 volt. So C V naught will be 0.1, that is the value of the capacitor, 0.1 farad, multiplied by this voltage, 5 volt. So the uh, C V naught will be 0 0.5 ampere. So we write here 0 0.5 ampere. And now we plug this in into the uh, circuit. So the circuit will now look like this. So this is the, uh, the voltage source transformed from here. Register no change. The capacitor transformed from here. And the current source uh, transformed by this equation. So this is the complete S domain representation of the circuit. And now we'll try to find V naught, which was the voltage here, which is actually now the voltage, it can be written to be here, with respect to ground, so this is the same voltage. Okay, so we were here, and now we'll apply the KCL at the node, so this is the node, and if you look carefully, uh, we have this path for current entering the node. This is current entering the node, and this current is also entering the node. 
and these are the two paths where current leaving the node so by kcl let's write the current entering first now this i hope you recall that this voltage source minus the node voltage divided by resistance will give current of this path so that is what we are writing 10 divided by s plus 1 for this source minus v naught divided by the resistance 10 plus this current source plus this second current source so this is the current entering terms and now the current leaving terms this current will be this voltage divided by 10 ohm actually this voltage minus 0 divided by 10 but we don't write 0 so it is V naught divided by 10 and plus V naught divided by uh, 10 over S V naught divided by 10 over S so this is the complete case equation and now we simplify this one uh, 10 multiplied and 10 divided so it will become 1 over s plus 1 minus v over 10 and we added these two 2.5 and this remains here s goes up so s v not 10 further simplifying we get the v terms on the other side so it will become 2v0 over 10 and this remains there. Taking common 1 over 10v0 and then multiplying by 10 both sides. So this will become as shown here and 10 from here will get eliminated. Okay, now uh, we were here and let's further simplify. If we take the LCM S plus 1 here, so this term will become 10 plus 25 S plus 25, this multiplying 25 and is equal to V naught S plus 2. And from here we can write V naught to be this one will become 25 s 10 and 25 35 divided by s plus 1 and then this s2 goes there so this is v naught and now to uh, go to the time domain we have to factorize this so let's write it in the two factor forms a divided by s plus 1 plus b divided by s plus 2 and you know uh, the technique of solving this by the residue method in the residue method the we multiply by the denominator of the unknown so we are trying to find the unknown a so we'll multiply v naught by the denominator that is s plus 1 s plus 1 multiplied by v naught s and then we put the condition s plus 1 is equal to 0 that means s is equal to minus 1 so this is the condition uh, applicable for this and now when we multiply s plus 1 with v s which is this one so this s plus 1 term will go out so we have 25 s plus 35 divided by s plus 2 and the condition remains and now we'll plug in the value of this so this will be minus one here so plus uh, one remaining and this is minus 25 and plus 35 so we have 10 divided by one and the value we get is 10 same way uh, for b2 now for b2 we'll multiply by the denominator of b2 s plus 2 v to s and the condition will be s plus 2 is equal to 0 that means s is equal to minus 2 and same way now we are multiplying by s2 so s2 terms gets eliminated s1 remains plugging in the values so we get v, uh, b to be 15 so our uh, 
V naught S becomes 10 divided by S plus 1 plus 15 divided by S plus 2. And now from here we can easily uh, go back, uh, go into the time domain. And I'm sure you know uh, how to do this. Now this will be 10 and S1 over S plus 1 will be e raised to the power minus t ut. Similarly, this will be 15 and S plus 2 will be e raised to the power minus 2t ut. And if you take ut common, so this is the final answer. So I hope this uh, gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem. Thank you.